What is going on today, guys? Today we're going to talk a little bit about the age-old question of semi-automatic handguns versus revolvers. Which is the better option for you? I could sit here right now and give you the pros and cons on both of these two excellent types of defensive tools and make everybody feel good about their own personal preference, their own choice in whatever they've decided to go with, whether it be a revolver or whether it be a semi-automatic handgun as their kind of go-to defensive tool. And I can sit here and point out all the good things about both of them and a couple of the downsides of both of them and talk about how, well, in the end, it just comes down to which one you're more proficient with and which one you trust more for yourself. Because any gun is better than no gun. And to be honest, that's all true, but I'm not gonna do that because that's pointless. There is a clear winner between the revolver and the semi-automatic pistol. And I'm sorry to anybody whose feelings this hurts. And Yankee, I know you're out there. I know you're watching, but you're wrong. Clearly the winner is the semi-automatic pistol. Hands down in every way that matters across the spectrum of gun ownership from a first time gun owner to somebody buying their 100th defensive tool, the semi-automatic is the clear winner. And I wanna to explain to you why it is. So the first reason why the semi-automatic handgun is better than the revolver is going to come down to count and just the fact that there are more options available for some automatic handguns that fit the spectrum of gun ownership there are just far more options to choose from in finding a caliber that works best for you and there's just no two ways around that and then next up we have to talk about capacity i know it's an obvious one but it's an obvious one because it actually does matter and the fact of the matter is the vast majority of some automatic handguns out there on the market have a much higher capacity capacity than just about any revolver out there and sure you can pick some eight shot 357 magnum that has more rounds than a Taurus TCP in 380 yeah you could but is that the norm or is that a special circumstance well obviously it's not the norm you're always almost anyway going to have more capacity in a semi-automatic handgun than you are in a revolver and then of course we have to talk about reloading obviously in a semi-automatic being able to take out the magazine and insert it back in quickly is way faster than anything you can do with a revolver and i know i know i know i hear all the complaints but what about speed loaders well that's great if you always have a speed loader on you at all times and even if you do that is not a guarantee that you can eject a magazine magazine and place it back in a firearm quicker than you can dump old rounds out of a revolver and then insert a speed loader, release it, and close it. It's just not as fast and that ability to be able to reload faster consistently across the board without having to have speed loaders on hand is just a better option when it comes to a defensive tool and then lastly we've got to talk about availability because it really does matter the fact of the matter is there are just more semi-automatic handguns out there more brands and companies that produce them in higher quantities and more models out there and what that means to you the person looking for a good defensive tool is you have more options to choose from. It's easier for you to find something that works well for you specifically in a defensive situation when it comes to some automatics than it is for you to find that same level of compatibility with your skills and your proficiency when it comes to revolvers. So what it comes down to is those four categories equate to a better defensive tool available in more options to better suit the needs of a variety of gun owners at various stages of gun ownership. Again, whether you're buying your first gun or your 100th gun, it doesn't matter. And of course, I have heard the argument that, well, revolvers were first, and that's true. I mean, we didn't get the first semi-automatic handgun till roughly the 1890s, but we got the first revolver about 60 years before that. But here's the thing, with technology and manufacturing being what it is today, and honestly, what it's been for the last hundred years, that 60 years difference doesn't really matter when it comes to reliability of the firearm as a defensive tool. So in the end, guys, I would love to tell all you revolver lovers out there that what you have is just as good and just as great of an option for all gun owners as a semi-automatic handgun is. But the truth is, it's not. A semi-automatic handgun is still the best defensive tool you can have when it comes to taking care of yourself.